double entendre joke. Let me tell you another one. How many people? All right, all right. Here's one. Here's one. What name, like Bill or Tom or or Alan or Gretchen? What name would you give to a camel that has no humps? Anybody know out there? Well, it's easy. Ooh. A name you give to a camel with no humps? Humphrey. Yeah, now we're getting warmed up. That's a double entendre joke. Well, another one. How many of you know who Tigger is? Walt Disney character Tigger? All right. Tigger's one of my heroes. I love Tigger and Snoopy and uh, Garfield. See, I know I like Garfield. I like him. I, I like him. Garfield's but not Tigger's Disney, is he? Tigger's one of my he? cartoon heroes. But do you know what? Tigger, Disney found out that Tigger, he has this problem. Disney found out that Tigger, he smells really bad. You want to know why Tigger smells really bad? Thank you for your help. You're going to be there to help me all night, aren't you? All right. Well, Disney found out that Tigger smells bad because he likes playing with poo. Bada boom. You like that one? All right, all right. Let's keep it up. Uh, folks, i got to let you know that I'm going to have to use this cheat because I was down there competing all day today and I'm wore out. So I actually have to look at this a little bit to try to cheat, keep track of what I'm doing. So don't mind me here. Let me tell you another one. Uh, how many people remember, oh, about three, four years ago, there was these guys that was trapped underground in uh, Brazil or, or Colombia or someplace down. And then it was a big write-up in the paper and everything, big coverage. And they actually got them out after two months and drilled another shaft down to them and got them out. You guys remember that? Some of you do? Well, there's this one guy, after being underground for two months, months his story interests me. It wasn't the guy this guy who had is a so wife terrible. and I a girlfriend waiting for him. I think if I was being, if I was oh, him, it's, I'd it's stay true. around for a little while. It's ridiculous. To meet that. But there's this one guy that was underground, and when they pulled him out, they said, and this guy says, hey, I feel fine. He says, after being underground for two months, he says, I just want to go across the street to the bar and, and, and get a drink. They wouldn't let him. You want to know why? Because you see that bar? It doesn't serve minors. Another bada boom. It, they're all like all right, that. Hang on, I, gotta, I told you, I man. <clears throat> One more double. He start, his name is Bill. He says he started out uh, if he ate too many beans. You see, there's this, gas midget, bill. This, uh, this little person. And he was a, uh, a, a psychic or a, a crystal ball reader, palm reader, a tarot reader. He was a medium. He was a medium. But this guy was a little bit underhanded, you see. And the cops came arrested him, took him to jail. But uh, because of his small stature, small, medium, a large, he was able to escape, escape jail, and he's on the lam. Yep. And the cops were looking for him everywhere. The cops were looking for him. Find him. Well, the next day, because this uh, little guy was on the lam, and the cops were looking for him, they um, uh, let the newspapers and the TV stations know about it. Well, the newspaper uh, the next morning and his the headlines, they had small, medium, at large. Yeah. Well, at least you like that. I had to move because I was standing right next to the lady. Uh, I, I guess this is his wife, maybe. And I got the looks. I was like, oh, I'm going to get out of here.